Good morning. It is our last final day today. We are headed to the Magic Kingdom. It is almost eight o'clock and uh, it's a rough start. Somebody was up snoring all night long. I don't want to point fingers or anything, but it's the tall one. <laughs> and uh, I was basically up at like, I've basically been up since like 4.30. Rob was snoring and he snored last night. Oh God, it was terrible. <laughs> it's because we're all sick. Baby was up and uh, yeah, rough, rough go. And um, kids did not really want to get going today. My feet are basically, it's time to go home. When you start feeling like this, it's time to go home. I have some pretty bad blisters, which I usually always get. Good morning. And uh, so, anyway, I can't even run. I'm like, I'm totally out to lunch this morning. So anyway, we are headed over to the front of the resort this morning to try and get some breakfast before we head to the Magic Kingdom. We're just about to pass the pool. Now, I think we were over by the Spy Glass Grill place, which um, is right near our room, but we think there's just a few more options over here. And this is like the final bus stop anyway, so we figured we'd just come over here. I think, Or maybe it's the first bus stop. Yeah, I think it is one of the first ones. Anyway, we're just gonna come here for a better selection this morning. All right, so the kids and I are having breakfast. Kids have muffins this morning. They're sharing a muffin. And I have, Rob and I both got a um, bacon, cheese, and egg bagel, and it came with these home fries, which look really good. Yes, that's mummies. And we got coffee, right? Yes. We've made it into the Magic Kingdom. It is a uh, crazy day here today. I don't know what is going on. Probably because yesterday, I think, was the Labor Day Monday, and there was a Halloween party last night, so people don't tend to go on Halloween party days because the park closes early. That's my guess anyways, but we just try to take some pictures of Amelia in front of the castle because her birthday is in a few days, her first birthday. Uh, she's a little bit grumpy, she's a little bit tired, so maybe we'll have to try again later, but that's okay. So we're gonna head right now, I think, to um, the cars. Can't even, I'm like blanking on what they're called. So Brayden can drive one of the cars because he is tall enough. And we'll let Amelia sleep in the stroller. And then we have Tron, hopefully soon. We're getting served. Oh, there's Buzz Lightyear. I don't think Brayden and Mommy won. Except we're lucky we got more than zero. <laughs> Yay, Amelia. So Rob and Brayden are just going to get on the Tomorrowland Speedway. We we're excited for Brayden to do this one because we know he's gonna like it. So we ended up doing a uh, child swap so he can go on again uh, with me after he goes this time. So I'm gonna stand over here and uh, see if I can see them. We're gonna go ride on the cars, eh, Bob? That sound like fun? We're gonna ride the cars? Yeah. We're here at the Tomorrowland Speedway, getting ready to go. Wait for our car. Like I said, we got a blue car. Let's go! Okay, make sure you steer, okay? Raiders at the wheel. Here we go. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Side off!
not sure if Rob videoed at all, but he is just getting on a Tron now, and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try and get him this time, see if we can see him go, but, uh, oh, Amelia just woke up. See if we can uh, find him. It's hard because it goes by really fast. Right, I just got off Tron. It was excellent. I feel like the second time it was a little bit longer. It's probably just me. <laughs> but, oh, there it goes. Still a great, great ride. It is a crazy, crazy day at Magic Kingdom today. The aerial is like a 45 minute wait. Everything is crazy. We're lucky we got GD Plus, but it's like the middle of summer today. It's September. So, I don't know what we're going to get on today. We may have to just go back and have a bit of a cool afternoon, but uh, we are just about to go on Winnie the Pooh. Are we going to go Winnie the Pooh? Ready, we. Oh, we're not passing today. No bouncing. <laughs> Okay, Braden and Mommy are now gonna go on the the barnstormer, or we call it the goofy airplane. We're we gonna go on the airplane. Yeah, we are. It's kind of getting getting near nap time, so we're getting tired and hungry and cranky. So. And then we're gonna go on Peter. What? We're gonna go on Peter Pan after. Okay, here we go. You see Daddy? Where is he? Ready? So we just did Dumbo. We've, uh, even though it's been a really busy day today, we've really been able to stack our Genie Plus. So even on like a super crowded, busy day like today, like we ended up seeing Buzz Lightyear for 70 minutes, which is crazy. Uh, so we've been able to, we purchased Genie Plus this morning. We booked Peter Pan for 12.15. Oh, is it 12.30? 12.30. And then uh, we were able to get a few rides basically since then. So at 11 o'clock, we were able to make a second one and we made that for Winnie the Pooh. And since then we've been able to just keep like adding on rides. We do on make another one right after. So we were able to get done a lot of the rides 
in Fantasyland just by using the Genie Plus. So I would definitely recommend if you're going to come here and it's a really busy day, still look at Genie Plus because it's potential that a lot of people won't purchase it and then you can keep getting ride after ride, which is what we've done. We were able to get like five or six rides done just this morning with Genie Plus. All right, it's lunch time. So we ended up getting Amelia some mac and cheese. Brayden was gonna have some too, but That's the current state. Rob and I, I got some uh, rice bowls, pork rice bowls, and we got a bunch of water to Powerade. So we were just watching the parade a bit. Oh my God, my high hair is crazy. I just took my hat off. <laughs> we were just watching the parade for a bit. It was so hot. We had a uh, Dole Whip, of course. We haven't had one yet this trip. And now we are gonna switch off and go on Space Mountain. So my turn is first. I'm a little nervous because we just ate and I'm kind of full. So we have the Lightning Lane, but since I'm a single rider, they sent me down the single rider line anyways, which I'm assuming is gonna be faster. So that's okay. Wait, believe it Greetings, or not. intergalactic travelers. Yeah, Welcome fun. aboard the People Mover, presented by him. I'm Planet Five. You'll be guided aboard this highway. And we took Raiden out of this one. We came when he was a year old. And my stars is there ever yeah, to see you. From spacecraft to monster labs, there's really nothing like today. Okay, Brayden, where are we going? On the train. We're on the train. Mommy and Daddy, this is your first time on the train. And mommy and daddy have not ridden this for like four years. Crazy times. We're already trained. <laughs> we are just headed out of the Magic Kingdom now. We are all exhausted. The kids. There's no more magic left, folks. <laughs> there's, there's no more magic left. The uh, kids are extremely, mostly afraid of. Is extremely grumpy. He's just like, he's done. He's finished. It's been a long couple of days. It's hot, very hot. And uh, yeah, it's basically all there is to it. He's tired. So he's uh, extremely grumpy. So we're going to head back. And we don't really know what we're going to do for dinner tonight. We were supposed to go to Liberty Tree Tavern, but we just were, we had late lunch. We knew we weren't going to be hungry. And honestly, at this point, I think it's just best we go back and cool down and maybe get a little something at the resort if we're hungry. We'll have to see, but we're gonna head back on the bus. Wish us luck. So we have decided we, so we got back to our room and then we decided that uh, we didn't know what we were gonna have for dinner. We looked at the stuff at Caribbean Beach and it didn't really excite us too much. So we decided to take the Skyliner over to the Riviera Resort. Rob has never been over here. I have been over here. Um, before on a uh, past trip and did like a tour and stuff but um I uh we just decided to come over here and have dinner and take a look around the resort since it's really close to Caribbean Beach. Caribbean Beach is literally right behind me so and the Riviera is right there. So we're just gonna find something to eat at the quick service here and probably head back soon because we're all pretty beat, but we wanted to try to feed the kids. Oh, what's that, bud? Oh, he keeps pointing out all the characters on the Skyliner that he knows. Here we are. This is in like the main courtyard. I think they're watching a movie right now and it's Lion King because I can hear them playing Lion King songs. It's the Okay, now you're ruining all the ambiance. We're gonna go in over there to Primo Piatto. Playing bocce behind these bushes. You're gonna have to take my word for it. Uh oh. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. We were afraid we were gonna get turned down. Home. Yeah, I know. Gosh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> What's wrong, girl? I know it's just that I'm hungry. I know it's coming. You want what? This is mommy's tracker. You tell me when it starts beeping. That's your job. 
Well, it's been a couple of hours since we last updated you. We were at the Riviera. So it's been a crazy couple of hours, basically. So we went to Riviera for dinner and we were just walking around and then we were gonna take the Skyliner back. We actually ended up getting on the wrong Skyliner and took the Skyliner from Riviera to Epcot instead and then had to get off and then to switch and turn around and get back on again. And right when we were in line to come back, it breaks down. And it, we were sitting there for like a good 15 minutes, I would say. And it would not, I don't even know what they were. They were like trying to like, I think, add like the handicap, um, like wheelchair accessible ones on. And it wasn't working. Anyways, long story short, the Skyliner shut down and wasn't working and we were at Epcot and the fireworks, the park had closed at this point. And they ended up telling us to, basically if we want to take a boat to Hollywood Studios, we could do that. So we were like, Rob kind of went and talked to the lady. He's like, this is gonna be a while, isn't it? <laughs> and she was like, uh, yes. So we hopped on the boat at Hollywood Studios, which stopped at like four resorts before getting, or sorry, we hopped on the boat at Epcot to Hollywood Studios but stopped at like three or four resorts before it even got over to Hollywood Studios. And then we had to take the Skyliner from Hollywood Studios over to uh, where we are now, which is back at Caribbean Beach. So it is now 10 o'clock on the dot. We were finished dinner literally two hours ago. <laughs> at like eight o'clock we finished dinner and we finally get back it's just been crazy the kids are both asleep in the stroller like completely passed out snoring and we're exhausted we need to get up at like six o'clock 6 30 tomorrow and pack up our room because we need to go home tomorrow i don't even know how we're gonna fit everything but anyway <laughs> that is our crazy fluky story for tonight so we will see you back here Hopefully, I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. I'm exhausted. Good night.